I have a friend in the back named Nils. Wave Nils. <laughs> this story's in the book on your guys' table, but uh, Nils was on DTS the next quarter. So September quarter 2018. And I was constantly getting hurt. Sorry, Nils. <laughs> but Nils is like, he was like famously accident prone on his DTS. Like he got Vaughn in his feet one night at Pine Trees. We were over at Narnia on the east side of the island before they made that off limits. And Nils got sucked into an underwater pipe. And, uh, <laughs> and, then, um, <laughs> and then one night he was playing soccer and it broke his arm. And I, um, I felt like God wanted me to pray for his arm to get healed, but I kind of chickened out and didn't do it. And then he got, a, he got a cast, and then they told him that he would have it for like six or seven weeks, which would mean that he would need to have it taken off in Papua New Guinea when he was on outreach over there. And he was getting ready to go for a three-week checkup, and I felt like God just stirred faith in me again. And so I said, Nils, let's pray. I think there's someone else that prayed with us. And we just we prayed that when he would go for his three-week checkup, that it would be better. And he did, and it was. And so they took the cast off then, instead of having to wait another three, four weeks. Um, that's right, Nails, right? Is that, did I get the details right? Okay, come on, come on up. It was kind of a kind of a crazy time because so I was friends with Ian but like I came to DTS kind of having no concept of who God really was. And so during that time I was struggling with the idea of God being actually even interested in me as like an individual human being. And so when Ian came up to me and said, "Oh, like when you're going for your like 3 week checkup, like I want to pray for you and see if your arm's going to get healed." I had zero faith, like zero. I did not believe, I did not believe that it would happen. <laughs> and I was more like, okay, here's my arm, you know, do what you gotta do to feel better about it. <laughs> yeah, and Ian stepped out in faith. And so we went to the doctor and I was sitting there, they took off the cast, took an x-ray, and they left me in a room for a good half an hour. And I was sitting there and I was just waiting, and waiting, and waiting, and didn't have data or anything, so I was literally just waiting and waiting. <laughs> and at some point a nurse came in and she was like, oh yeah, you can leave. I was like, are you sure? I was like, you forgot something, you know? No cast. <laughs> and she was like, no, 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 you're fine, you're fine, you're fine. Like, and I was like, no, like there's no way. And she was, she literally like was like, no, 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 like we checked the X-rays, here they are, you're good, just go. <laughs> wow. And so we came back, and I took the two halves of my cast, and I walked into the ship space, like lifting the cast right, up, right. and everyone that saw it was like, what? like going about. wild, and yeah. it was like it started a crazy journey for me, and it was a crazy confirmation for you. Yeah. yeah. What do you What do you mean when you say it started a crazy journey for you? Well, because then, like, I mean, that was maybe week. Seven, eight, like that, yeah. yeah. And there were still like a few weeks ahead of us, and I feel like it wasn't until that point where God really was able to like take a hold of my heart because from that point on I was like, okay, like I get it. Like you, you, you are interested in me as a person. You're concerned about my personal needs. It's not just the collective of the church or Christians or whatever. And yeah, I don't know. It just it really got the stone rolling for me. That's really neat, yeah. So, just to clarify one thing, Neil, stay up here for a second if you don't mind. Um, so, when you went in for the checkup, they, they took the cast off and they were going to put a smaller cast on, right? Yes, the goal was to have one here to the elbow. Below, like underneath your elbow. Yeah, and then they, and then they looked at the x-rays and you didn't need it. Yeah. Wow. Very cool. So, yeah, that's actually kind of amazing. I, I, I didn't realize that had such an impact and that, that's kind of cool because it, it kind of makes sense of why I felt God really stirring in me to do that, you know, because uh, God knew how much it would touch you. Huh, that's really neat.